Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some of the best 3D resources, assets, tools that can help to take your UI designs to the next level. So without further ado, let's just get started with the video. All right, so the first tool we're looking at is called Pixu. I absolutely love the name of Pixu. So first of all, it has a bunch of different sets of 3D illustrations. Some illustrations are clay, some are more metallic, some are low poly. I'd say this is one of the only illustration packs today which are going to be paid. All of the others have free options as well. But these are worth exploring, especially if you're working on Blender, etc. This I am super excited about. It's called Morflax and they have a new new tool called Mesh. So Morflax Mesh allows you to edit in real time all of these illustrations and icons they have in their library. So how do you even do that? You can quickly say edit in designer. It takes you to a page where the entire studio opens inside your browser itself. And of course it has a little tutorial when you open it first where it shows how you can access it. Kind of reminds me a little bit of spline tool but it's a much simplified version of spline, if you know what I mean. You can rotate it, you can move it on a 3D as axis, you can just drag it freely also if you'd like. Changing colors, etc. is super simple and super quick. You just have these options which says colors. You can choose from all these colors that there are here. You can even switch between material types, so metallic, basic, clay, glass, whatever you like, you can really switch between them. I like how the glass is actually translucent. So as you can see, you can see some of these items from behind the glass and I know how much you guys love glass morphism. You can change the position and rotation from the side here as well. You can even add custom lighting here, directional light. It's basically a light which moves in a certain direction. You can decrease or increase the intensity from here. You can change the position of the lighting. Of course, you won't have as much customization as you would have in a tool like Spline, but it's a good place to start from. You can even change the color of the lighting, which I think is really cool. I like this red haunted look for sure. At any point of time, if you want, you can add icons and illustrations from the library by clicking on this lightning icon. Of course, they have this really nice icon pack right here. They have low poly assets as well all for free. Of course, if you add anything, you can just click on this add button and it will add it to your artboard, so as to say. Apart from that, you can create your custom shape. You can even add something like a custom card so that you can create a glass Moffit card here as well. You can add cylinder, cube, pyramids, as well as text and all that good stuff, which is necessary. Vertex handcrafted 3D icons. This is another illustration pack, which also has a tool combined with it. So you can customize these illustrations and icons before downloading them. So for example, I like this diamond, it kind of reminds me of Ruby on Rails. So if I click on this, it starts loading up here and it brings up this little pop-up where you can just edit the illustration real quick. You can rotate it around a nice axis, see how the glass actually works here. The reflections are really real. The material you can quickly switch up, so plastic glass, frosted glass, whatever you like. I feel metal is good. I can increase or decrease the reflection again. Awesome. It saves it as an, a PNG, but hopefully in the future, they'll allow you to save it as say a Blender file or a Figma file for sure. But they have a never ending list of, I think 90 plus illustrations and icons. And there's something for everyone. There's a mic, there are these weird shapes. There's these brands, there's this coffee cup, there's Google icon, everything is available here. So so quickly you can grab these things. Now this is one of those tools that both UI designers, graphic designers, illustrators can all use. It's kind of like Canva, but for only 3D illustrations. So you can quickly say, try for free, create a banner. It allows you to pick up any one of these. I'll pick this square for Instagram. It loads it up here. You can edit all these 3D icons and illustrations in real time. Again, such a cool tool. I see a lot of tools like these coming up. You can bring up new illustrations, resize it, edit them. And all of these have a nice little shadow to them as well, which of course you can edit from the side here. You can increase or decrease blur so as to add that depth of field. So if you want to move this behind, you can do this. You have this bring backwards and it will push it to behind this gift here. I think this looks really cool. Each and every component here is editable. So as you can see, the rainbow has all these colors which are all editable. And as you can see the change in real time as I'm changing it here. 
So every component here inside the three day illustration is also editable, which I really appreciate. I thought this would be really useful for this video. I recently created a wonderful carousel over on my Instagram and this Figma 3D plugins carousel takes you through all the amazing 3D plugins available for Figma, which are recently launched and you can try them out for yourself. Now, one of this is a website that I really look up to. They have really cool illustrations and this time they've surprised us with 80 stylish 3D illustrations for UI UX projects. And these are relevant because a lot of people I see are making financial applications, crypto based applications. So this will be really cool to add to those applications as 3D illustrations. I love how they use it and show it up front so that you can even get inspired from some of these. You can create your own scenes, you know, just combining some of these. I absolutely love the colors, the shadows. They're so amazing and they're so, I'd say El Classe, you know, premium looking illustrations. Of course, they do charge a little bit of a premium, which is $24. Or you want to get some of the illustrations and icons for free for non-commercial use. You can download it or just right click and download as an image. Remember not to use these images for commercial purposes without paying. I think that will be unfair for the creators as well. Now, these guys have supported the channel so much that I had to introduce them again. Mockup Studio is an actual dedicated application for both Windows as well as Mac OS. You can just download it and you can have these amazing features on the fly. Drag your UI designs into this and it fits them into all these wonderful wonderfully high quality mockups that you can get on the fly. This tool itself is free and a lot of the illustrations and features will be free with all these amazing devices that they have available. They also have plugins for Figma, Sketch and Adobe XD. They, they have both realistic human hands as well as, you know, more clay looking illustrations as well as devices as well. Now Shapefest is something that I introduced last year, but this year they have they have compiled so many new illustrations, 160,000 plus transparent PNG images and beautiful shapes. Primarily, I'm showing you this because I love these isometric packs that they've created, extremely high quality, editable PNGs. And the best part about these libraries is that these are all free. All of these are tagged free, as you can see. Nothing is actually paid on this. There are certain license agreements I think you should check out. But apart from that, you can quickly just search for. They also launched a little nice little NFT, which you can always check out. They have all these material based, you know, these different materials, glass and silver, metallic, frosted glass. And you can check out the library. I think this will be a delight to be using in your UI designs, etc. Cloud Tech 3D icons, a bunch of cloud-based icons. So if you're creating or your company's creating something around the cloud, this is a customizable illustration pack or icon pack in Figma. So you can customize the colors, you can customize certain features, etc. in Figma right there. They have a nice little tutorial available on their website to do that. So this one's a fun one. It's called 3D Icon Editor and it does what it says. Rotate this on a 3D axis and change the colors. That's probably the only few features that it has. You can select from what you're editing. So if you want to edit this button color, click on the button and then change the color from here. How cool is that? I think that's a cool little feature. To select any other icon, you'll have to sign up. Signing up is again free. You can sign up with Google or your email and that's about it. So that was it for today, guys. Short and sweet. I'll see you every Monday and Thursday, same time, same place. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the videos if you did. I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. God bless.